Hey, how's it going folks? CT here with another iMovie tutorial. This one is pretty cool. I was thinking about it the other day. How do I add a stopwatch timer to my video? And of course, in apps like Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve, the more pro level apps, it's kind of built in. But in iMovie, it's not really built in. So what I did was I took my iPhone and I used a little uh, screen recording and I recorded about five minutes of my phone screen. So now I have a little video clip here of five minute countdown. So how am I going to do this? What am I going to do? First thing I'm going to do is click on the clip here. Then I'm going to use the cropping tool and I'm going to crop it. So do this before you drop it into the timeline. And I'll explain that a little bit later. So go ahead and crop and just crop it down to exactly where you want your, how big you want that timer to be. Okay. So I want it about, you know, so this, this big. Then hit the checkbox here. Okay, now that video is cropped. So we can drag it into the timeline and make sure we click and highlight it. We'll go over to our drop down here and go to picture in a picture. And now, if you see what I'm cooking over here, and let me actually split clip to get rid of the extra garbage out of here. So now I have a timer that can be basically moved anywhere on the screen. Can be made bigger or smaller. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller here. And I want to kind of highlight it. So let's go ahead and add a border around it. So we can do a border. Let's do a medium sized border. And we'll do something bright like yellow. There we go. And we'll hit shadow. And then we'll do we need shadow. Yeah, let's keep it shadow. Hit that. So now, let me move it to the beginning here. Make sure there's no fade on it. So make sure this is all the way. We don't need a fade. Beginning of the video. So if you're doing a tutorial or a video where you're trying to show, you can do a countdown or you can do a stopwatch or whatever you can get out of that, that iPhone clock app. You know, you can actually record. So let me go ahead and push play. And now we have a video with a timer. So again, what I did was I recorded my screen on my iPhone and I just did a five minute recording. So now I'm gonna leave this in my, on my hard drive and I can actually pull it up whenever I want and I'll have a timer. And of course, if you need more than five minutes, you, you gotta record more than five minutes. But pretty cool, huh? I just thought of this out of the blue. I was like, how can I make a timer using iMovie? I have Final Cut Pro, but I'm a preferred iMovie user and I need to record the kind of the boot time, the loading time of a game on a Switch 2 versus a Switch 1. And I was thinking, how can I actually do the timer? And this is how I did it. Alrighty, that's it for the tutorial. We'll talk to you next time. As usual, peace and aloha. 